I really love the uh, Benjamin Britten's War Requiem. It's a very powerful piece. It's incredibly moving. It's very, um, it's very dramatic, and it has, uh, but it has a very somber quality, rightly so, because it's a War Requiem. But, um, but at the same time, I wanted to use that as as a launching point for this piece. So we begin before we actually get into the full piece itself. We begin with uh, Benjamin Britten's piece, which will be played in the cathedral and people will have an opportunity to hear that in context with some of the archive footage that's going to be shown or still images. So really I haven't directly borrowed anything from Benjamin Britten or the War Requiem but what I've done is I've tried to create something that feels like some kind of a sequel to it in that his piece was really about the cathedral at its inception after the Second World War bombing and my piece is very much about Coventry as a city and the cathedral in uh, in the wake of all of that uh, rising from the ashes of the ruins as um, a city of inspiration and resilience and um, and really kind of looking not only to the present, but to the future as well. What I've tried to do with how the whole piece works really is to highlight the words in the poems. The first poems read out by myself, which is Dorchette de Coromest from Wilfred Owen, who was the first World War poet, who Benjamin Britten had also incorporated in his War Requiem. And I've also wanted to make sure that the words of Emily and Hawa Hussein were really going to stand out. The first piece that you'll hear in terms of the choral recital after I speak uh, the poem, you hear a choral piece which will incorporate the words of Dolce de Coromest to some degree. But thereafter, all of the choral pieces will have no words, they'll have syllables. And that's really also to kind of reflect the universal language um, of music and of the choral idea. Um, you know, in, in a way, it's kind of uh, this concept of connectivity that we're kind of trying to express with the idea that um, the cathedral is con and Coventry as a city um, are both connecting with the, with the world um, and and you know particularly Coventry as a city of sanctuary as a, and as a place where uh, which actually uh, you know gives offers sanctuary to asylum seekers and refugees and I guess I wanted to kind of also reflect some of the Reverend John Whitcomb's ideas as well that really he wanted it not to feel like a parochial kind of concept it wasn't just purely about commentary although a lot of it is it was actually about its place in the globe I think it's really important that the cathedral isn't s perceived in isolation it's very important that the music and the performances link to the outside world and to Coventry as a whole. So obviously we want to bring in community choirs as well to work with Coventry Cathedral Choir. I really hope people feel uplifted by the music. I, feel, I hope people feel uh, a sense of pride in their city. I hope people feel a sense of, uh, of having come to a performance and to, uh, and to a, sh a real show that is going to, you know, is is going to kind of hopefully um, give them a different perspective on the cathedral and their city as well, but also that they just enjoy the music because I I think that everyone who's participating in this um, have really put their all into it, and I feel that um, it's it's a really lovely collaboration between a lot of people. It's real teamwork. I think everyone has been. Um, really giving with their time and with their enthusiasm for the project.